just sitting out on my deck, uh, getting ready for the big trip I'm about to embark on. I'm gonna try and make it across BC from Victoria to Fernie via the back road, so should be interesting. I think we made it. I was gonna tell him in the passenger in the driver's seat right now. Your attention please. Ah, what do you say? Who knows? Go that way. Tours with Brian. We're just cruising to the skate park right now. It's underneath this bridge. So let's go see what the locals do. Wow. This is awesome. This is crazy. It's like we're so steep. <laughs> Holy. Our good buddy Brian. He's been showing us all around. It is Alex's first day in Victoria. Some frosty pints. beginning mile zero Victoria BC beautiful day park and uh, there's this cool tunnel and this dried up uh, creek bed I'm walking up so I was talking to some people and they had mentioned there's a waterfall just up around the bend so I think it'd be silly not to go take a look huh. it's starting to set in now that <laughs> but even though it's only five hours in I'm really starting to get a little worn down and yeah should be a long three weeks, but a fun three weeks. Hell of a view behind me. Uh, 
don't know if you can really tell. Well, for one, I'm eating a pretzel. For two, it was this beautiful day. Then just like this rainstorm just came rolling through. And normally, I'd be kind of freaked out about it or like want to put on my rain gear, but I'm so hot, like, it's a, it's a, it's a lifesaver. I'm so happy I stopped. I got this big tree kind of protecting me and look at this view. Unreal. There's a bike, staying dry. I'm gonna enjoy my pretzel. My lucky day, is I stumbled across a wild strawberry patch. This is my haul so far. A couple more right there. Couple more back there, over there. Oh, we eating good. Just stopped at Jen Sushi in Shawnigan Lake. Got some California rolls, got some teriyaki beef. Actually kind of funny thing just happened. So this raven that's hanging out here. And um, when I went to go grab the GoPro off the bike, I come back and he's snagging a piece of the teriyaki beef. So you, you know it's good. Big thing about riding a bike compared to driving a car is riding a bike, you see a little bit more. Driving a car, you don't see as much. So, that being said, it was a boot I probably wouldn't have seen. <laughs> Not a second too soon, I made it to the Kinsole Trestle. So that is this bad boy right here. An absolute marvel of engineering. And they so kindly built the shelter, which so kindly works out to build a, to house a nice hammock. Sure, it's not made for that, but it's hard, <laughs> hard to pass up a roof over your head, especially on the first night. So I guess uh, now that I'm all settled in, go down, wash up, get degreasified, and then make some tea and make some phone calls. Maybe even fly the drone, who knows? Could be a fun evening. Made it down to the creek, it's beautiful. And um, oddly enough, I was like, oh, it's kind of late in the day. No way anybody else is gonna be down here. Like, oh, I'll get naked and kind of frolic in the water. Literally like five seconds after I do that, a lady shows up with her dog. <laughs> what can you do? First day down and not gonna lie. I uh, had some moments where I was kind of questioning the whole idea of why I'm doing this and just, I don't know, there's a couple of like hiccups, but you know, like looking at the whole, it went perfectly, had a lot of fun, met a lot of cool people. And I think, I don't know, maybe inspired some people. Like for instance, after the hammock all set up, these two guys came down and they're just super curious about the trip and just ended up flying the drone for them. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's been a really good day. Just finished brushing my teeth. Now I'm gonna turn in for the night. So, see you tomorrow. Oh, good morning. Didn't see you there. Just enjoying my nice cup of coffee. Courtesy of Mission Creek Liquor Store. They were uh, doing, well they weren't even really doing a deal. Uh, if you go there and you just ask if they're doing any giveaways, they're usually pretty good about it. But apparently if you bought some whiskey, they'd give you a bag of coffee. I didn't buy any whiskey and I got two bags. So, thank you Mission Creek Liquor Store for supplying the coffee for this trip. So far so good. Everybody seems pretty friendly on the island. Even the ferns waved you. Yeah, of course, as soon as I go to film it, they slow it down, but hello to you too.
This is cool. <laughs> Feels like I'm in Hawaii, and I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is spectacular. Met a nice older couple, hung out with them for a little bit, went for a swim. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's funny because we didn't meet up for a swim, I went a different way, and as I'm on my way down there, there's this girl with her boyfriend, they're both skinny dipping. I didn't realize because they were in my glasses, and then I'm like, oh, got a deer in the headlights, so just went for a quick swim and cooled off now and now I'm in this beautiful forest. It's a little park, I got my towel just hanging out. Um, <clears throat> after the beard uh, shakes by the water, it felt like, you know, I'll probably get this for cheaper. So. Exactly what I did. Dun, dun, dun. Cheers. So I kind of put myself into a bit of a predicament. I kind of assumed uh, that the rail trail would uh, just cruise along the river, but it certainly does not. It, well, I mean, it did for the first little bit, and I thought I'd score there, finding a place to camp, but of course, where it's across the river is people's property. So now I'm a ways away from the river and everything's kind of swampy. I mean, by no means is sunlight fleeting, but uh, my energy levels are definitely getting down. Maybe a couple too many beers and Lake Cowichan. So let's see what happens just after 7 a.m. And I'm actually in a pretty beautiful spot. I mean, it's uh, not so gracious with the bugs, but I mean, it definitely makes up for it in beautiful bird noises. It's called Smokey's Pond. It's a, uh, from what I read on the internet, it's a day use site, but it's interesting because like on the maps, it says rec site. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Spend 10 bucks or whatever. It's probably like a outhouse and maybe some running water, but uh, not quite the case. Save the 10 bucks, so. I'd ever spend that on beer tonight, I guess. Probably the biggest lily pads I've ever seen. Looks like they're about to have some flowers they're about to blossom. This is gorgeous. And to make matters even better, it's, it's all downhill grade to Duncan, baby. Yeah. Rule number five of bike touring. Take advantage of indoor plumbing when you can.
cool cats and kittens. Here I am outside of Shemanis. Well, actually, it might be Solterre. Um, tough to say. But for sure behind me is a bunch of corn. Well, soon to be corn. Transfer Beach in Ladysmith, BC, Canada. Not gonna lie, I am feeling absolutely worn down. I have another two hours, and that's two hours at 20 kilometers an hour on the highway to get to Maddie's place. So it's currently 1.30, 3.30 30 I could be there, but I'm planning to stop for lunch. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a push. Made it through the first rainstorm of the trip. And it's, it's real toss up. Do you, do you wear the rain jacket? Then you end up getting really sweaty. You don't wear the rain jacket, you get really wet and cold. I don't know. I don't know. But one thing I do know is I have 11 kilometers left to get to Maddie's house. And hopefully it's all downhill. by far my longest day of riding but I don't know I'd say it's definitely worth it it was nice not camping in a kind of swampy area it was nice not camping by a trestle I mean those two options have their definitely pros and cons but uh, this is pretty darn good being in a warm warm bed it's so cool too being by the ocean because all the trees have like cool angles to them because yeah. like the wind or like something yeah i always love this little view Good it's nice when it's up the cow's back yeah so we saw some on back or some more orchid. like a month ago wow how exactly these things work so you put them down on the bottom yeah and they go flat okay and then the crabs grab the bait in there, and then they all get up here, and then once you pull them up, closes everybody <laughs> in. <Close laughs> like a Venus flytrap. <laughs> can because you never know when you get another chance just like that my time on the island is done <laughs>